Bonjour and welcome to the Greenville Center for Creative Arts. I'm Danielle Fontaine and I'm one of the inaugural artists here at GCCA. But let's go see my studio. Outside my studio, I have a couple of scenes from Greenville. I have a mail painting, of course, <laughs> you might recognize Kaneski mail. And above my door, I have a scene from downtown. It's my favorite doorstep on Main Street. I'm an architect, so you'll understand why it might be one of my very favorite scenes in Greenville. But let's go in. My art is narrative, and on the walls in my studio, I tell the story of Pipon, a little farm in South Georgia. It's a story of family, roots, love, and race, of the ties that bind and the ties that should bind. My story will also come in book form through Clemson University Press in February, so please keep an eye out for this. By the way, thank you so much to the Metropolitan Arts Council for the grant that helped make this project possible. I could not have done it without their help. So thank you, Mac. My medium is encaustic. It's an ancient medium of painting with hot wax, which I like to combine with my photography in various ways. The basic tools of the trade for encaustic are a simple kitchen skillet, which I use to melt my encaustic medium, the clear medium that you also use to prime your boards and to dilute the colors. The colors come in very concentrated little cubes of color like this, which I melt on my heated palette in these little tins. You can hear the tick, tick, tick of the heating element under my palette. In the smaller tins, I mix the colors with a lot of the encaustic medium. They are too concentrated to use otherwise. And then I can use my heated palette as you would any other painter's palette to blend colors, which I then apply onto my primed board. You have to apply it quickly because the wax cools very quickly. And once your wax is applied, you can carve it in various ways with carving tools to achieve various effects. The word encaustic comes from the Greek word encaustikos, which means to burn in. So the very essential final step of any encaustic painting is the application of heat to fuse the waxes, to fuse the colors together, as I will have to do here as I complete my painting in progress. There is a multitude of ways to work with encaustic, and I look forward to showing you some of them in my studio, so please come and visit. 